Finally, what I've been really looking forward to is just seeing th the size of this massive lad towering behind me. He is three feet tall. So we did the whole spear pillar shenanigans, and it's now time to head towards Sunny Shore. Now, I'm, I know what you're thinking, and I was thinking it too. I should probably change my winter outfit for going to, you know, the beach. Because currently, I will be far too overdressed for that. And so, <laughs> I'm actually going to do it. I think we're going casual style. You know, I'm feeling pretty casual, like I just finished painting a house. And so, 86 grand is kind of a bit much, but, you know, whatever. I got my freaking headband on, I'm ready to work out. If we head to Eterna, I think it is, is that where I can get the... Is that where you acquire the herbs that make your Pokemon hate you? I think. So there's certain... What is it? The items that you can heal your Pokemon with that makes you makes them not like you as much? I should probably start doing that. We're looking for some hate herbs around here. This looks like the type of shack that's got them. Hello? Yes. My Pokemon like me a little bit too much, and so I'm going to get... Um, what's the difference? Extremely bitter medicinal root can be used to store 120. Um, I'll just get a bunch of energy roots. How about that? I'll stop healing with Moo Moo Milks, even though it was very fitting to the cereal theme. I got 31 because I accidentally went up one and I wanted 30. That's fine. Uh, that should hold us off for a while. Anyway, now that I've officially spent all my damn money, it's time to head towards Sunny Shore. So, all right, this right here is where it was blocked off, but now the guy just is, is gone. So we can head this way now, where this is actually a new route. We get. 222. Got some good looking grass here. I don't remember what there is in this grass, but we can get a new encounter. I'm quite bored. Quite bored. Care to break the monotony? Sure. I feel like he's monotonous, man, because you've been standing on this route your whole life. And he's got one Pokemon. But it's a Luxio. Okay. I feel like that's the first time we've seen an evolved Shinx evolution, but probably not. And that right there is a dead Luxio. Rich boy, you can't buy yourself a better Pokemon? Get out of here. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Peanut butter chocolate. All right. This is a large patch of grass here. Um, hello, is anybody home? First encounter here is a Chatot. <laughs> nice. We love Chatot. Even he gives you a little, little, little uh, chest shimmy. I like it. So let's catch this little fella. He's done it. Chatot was caught. Bars. They can learn and speak human words. If they gather, they all learn the same saying. <laughs> That's fun. Toucan Sam. <laughs> I think I'm just going to send it to a box for now. Uh, but Chatot's a really cool Pokemon, so we'll take it. Hi, Traveler. How would you like to battle? I would greatly enjoy that, sir. What do you got for me here, Fisherman? Alec has two Pokemon chilling on his cooler. And, okay, it's just Magikarp, so I would have been fine. Oh, and there was a Gyarados, so level 42 Gyarados. That's actually... Man, that's actually pretty intimidating. My attack has dropped. But Luxray is one of my Pokemon that likes me too much. I need to definitely feed this thing from roots, because... The guy is going to start living attacks that he's not supposed to, and then I, yeah, it's going to be bad. And Fisherman number two. Damn, there's hella Fisherman over here. Must be a pretty hot fishing spot, boys. Oh, he's got a bunch of Pokemon, means they're probably all Magikarps. Yep. I do like how he casts them out, though. That's cool. Who has level 38 Magikarps? This guy is a failure. Like, why do you hit, Why do you press B when he gets level 20? You press that so many times. God. Oh, and a Remoraid. Okay, that's silly something different. You gotta remember when Remoraid was a gun? That was way cooler. Now he's just a fish. Octillery also was like a tank. And then they're just like, no, now he's just regular octopus. Fish evolves into octopus, because that's how nature works, boys. And then a Finneon. Also, one of the most forgotten Pokemon ever. At least this guy's got some pretty quality variety here. I like it, guy. Finneon. Has anybody ever remembered that Lumineon exists? What's up, Tuber? Listen, listen. Can you tell me what kind of Pokemon you have? Not only can I tell you what kind of Pokemon I have, I'm going to use them to beat you up and then take your lunch money. Tuber Holly. Coming out here with these stupid questions. I'm right, guess what? That's gonna do it. Heck you tube. Use my 
If I had a quillfish, one pointy boy would be over. Um, what's up with this? What's up with this rock smash rock? Why would this be here? Hello? That was dumb. This right here is the Pikachu fan club. These guys got hella Pikas. I'm going for the Pokemon Championship with only Pikachu. <laughs> That's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see how it plays out for him. Hello? He's like, even my kid is a Pikachu. Oh, we battle in here. Nice. What is it? Did they have a... Okay, the battle environment is just the standard. I was really hoping that it was just going to be Pikachus everywhere in the background, but... You guessed it, they have a Pikachu. <laughs> that takes care of you, little Pika. Roserade to Strunk. I do like your hoodie, though. Pretty sweet hoodie. Okay, so I guess it was worth coming in here. Needed the experience. And I'm out of here. Just beat up your daughter, and I'm out. Um, it's okay. So we're... We're getting close here. I think there's got to be... There's an item over here, right? That right. There's a bottle of Carbos. We got a jar of honey, a bottle of Carbos. Nice. I'm probably just going to save all those until right before the Elite Four. Just grab some late game EVs if we end up needing it. I mean, there's no reason to not use it, so... And there's definitely... There's got to be a hidden item here, right? Yeah, another jar of honey. All right. We love free honey around here. Um, okay, hold on. I am going to go out of my way to surf right here because I can and it was not worth it unless there was not nothing even here what in the hell okay so now we can continue out of here there is a honey tree right here and you know what I'm gonna slather that bad boy and probably forget that I did that so there we go <laughs> hopefully come back to that later and get something hello Bored lately, I hear. Apparently there's a lack of worthwhile challengers. I do remember that. The guy's gym leader is bored. Um, and we now arrive in Sunny Shore City, and freaking Ronald McDonald is here to greet us. Yo, fellow trainer, there's no masking the aura, that aura of serious toughness around you and your Pokemon. Sorry, I should introduce myself. My name's Flint, I'm one of the Pokemon League's Elite Four. He's like, I'm a fire guy that doesn't have any fire type Pokemon other than the fucking Ponyta. Just had this idea, maybe you can pull it off. It's about the city's gym leader. He's really lost his enthusiasm lately because there's been so few good challengers worth his time. So bored that he spends all his time renovating the gym. Blackout? Yeah, that's not good for him. You know where I, I'm going to go? Going with this, don't you? Need you to give him a battle that's so hot it will reignite his passion for battling. I'm counting on you, Hotshot. Alright, so Flint. Let me get some nuggets. And, uh... Yeah, here we are in Sunny Shore. It's actually a pretty cool city. Um, we're going to grab a heal and then we'll go explore around a little bit. Alright, so Mart Lady. The city uses a lot of electricity, especially the lighthouse in the gym. They finally decided to turn all the turn all the roads inside the city to giant solar panels. Well look at that! It's pretty damn futuristic. They don't really look like solar panels or anything, but also what is this? This is the Sunny Shore Market. Selection of the world's stickers. Imagine a shop just dedicated to stickers. That's all they got. You better believe I'm gonna go in here though. The Roserade needs to work a little harder. Hey, what the hell? Doesn't that thing look like Venusaur right there? <laughs> Hi, right, what's up, sticker guy? Please allow me to uh, need a little of your time, if you will. You won't regret it. May I help? Um, yeah, okay. Uh, he's got heart stickers, star stickers, fire, song, ribbon, electricity, and party sticker. I'm just going to get a bunch of the party stickers. That's pretty sick. I'm going to get like $2,000 worth of them. Give me 20 of them. Let's actually, let's actually take a look at the ball capsules here. I do have... Well, I'm going to move my face here. Let's play some stickers here. See, someone needs to tell me what the fucking difference is here. Because I can put stickers on, like, on just this. Or I can go full 3D on this hoe. And, like, what the hell would... Like, putting this sticker right here. There's no way when this Pokeball pops out that I would know that I put that there. Right? Like, you can't see any level of where the stickers are. Like, why even give me the option? I don't... Alright, this is actually the move. Oh, yeah. That right there looks like a golem animation. I don't know. Continuing to look around the city. I know that Jasmine's like chilling over there. Whatever the environment, people in Pokemon ad adapt to live there. Nice. Um, let's go on to the old, the old highway with that cars. Got a couple houses over here. I feel like living in Sunny Shore would probably be the coolest place to live here. Just seems like a nice, you know, nice place to live. This guy, this lady called me Nifmi. My husband is a sailor. He's off working somewhere far away. Oh, what's she about to ask me? I long for the day he comes back to me. She called me nifty and then said her husband's gone. All that waiting every day gets to be very boring though. 
I know. How about you visit me and I'll tell you stories every so often. Stories, huh? That's what they call it these days. I really don't feel like there's much. So here's here's Flint in the gym. Good to know. We'll come back to that momentarily. But I do want to go up on the other side, I guess. Take a look at what else is going on. Wait, I thought I could go up. Oh, oh I can. <laughs> Seems unnecessary to have like a two-story city, but I mean, heck it, if you got the if you have the means, that's fine. This is the lighthouse, right? Vista Lighthouse, the beacon that lights Sinnoh. I truly don't think that there's anything of importance in here. Oh! Okay, we got an elevator. Just a pair of binoculars that you can't even use because some other kid's freaking using them? Hey, my turn. Oh wait, this is the gym leader. <laughs> I've decided if I find you to be weak, I'm going to challenge the Pokemon League. I'm, uh, I'm all done with running the gym, so I don't need to be here. More than anything, I want to have battles that can thrill me again. As the toughest gym leader in Sinnoh, I'm going to unleash everything in my arsenal on you. Jeez, why you just gotta threaten me like that, guy? Um, and I totally forgot that that was the gym leader, but he opens up the thing. Tell me that I can actually look through these. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah, that's... Was that it? Wait, how do I look around here? Um... I, hit, I keep hitting A, and that stops it. It's all blurry. He's just literally, you can only look at the blurry ass Pokemon League. Well, I'm gonna get out of here. That was a super cool binocular experience. I actually did need to go in there to trigger the gym leader to go back to his place, but okay. So my team is not really ready to battle the gym as the highest is 49. I mean, I, we could battle at least, I guess, the people in the gym until we finish that up and then grind a little bit. But first, I'm gonna talk to Jasmine up here. See what she's up to out here on the beach. Step it on the beach. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Hello? Er, my name's Jasmine, I'm a gym leader. I'm sorry, not the gym leader of this city. I'm a gym leader in the Johto region. It'd be nice if you knew about the Johto region. If you don't have the city's gym badge, you'll be forced to turn back. So you cannot go north. She just basically tells you to heck off. She's like, you're too weak. Go battle the gym. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. What up, Ronald? Hiya, he's finally come back. He seemed to be feeling upbeat, too. I have a hunch that he'd recognize your toughness right away. I bet he's getting excited over the thought of battling you. Remember what you have to do, Hotshot. Come a battle that's so hot or reignite his passion for battling. Do you want me to battle him or do you want me to... What do you want me to do to that guy? Jeez. <laughs> um, so let's, let's head in. And I guess battle everybody that we can in here because we do need the levels. It's looking pretty damn electric up in here. And this is the one where you gotta turn the gears and stuff. So we go over here and we hit the button. Boom. Now we can go over here. Hit this button. I'm a puzzle god. Hello. Can you make it to the gym leader? You sure now? I think so. I, I think. We well, got school kids working here. With the Pachirisu. Okay. All my homies do love Pachirisu. Down goes the Risu. I do like the I do like the gears going in the background here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, next room. We spin this. And we spin it again. And I'll tell you what, we're gonna spin it once more. Now this allows us to go up onto this thing and be like, howdy kid. No wonder this guy's passion for battling is gone. I mean, his gym sucks. He literally hires children to work here. Technician Ambipom is the goat. Even though we don't generally get super effective stuff, we don't need it. Type advantage who, says Ambipom. Okay, now we step on you, which then allows us to step on you, and then we can go over here. All right. All right, finally, someone who looks like they work here. The freaking rock guys. Hello. And that will do. Okay, so now this allows us to go up top here, and my god, is that a Pikachu? Wow. This guy's got Pikachus working here. Oh no, it's just a kid. Alright, that's how you kill four Pikachus in record time. Next room here, we've got a rocker. Sup? Lonnie, I wish you had more Pokemon, friend. He do got the Thunderbolt, though. This would be a good practice for if Roserade can handle, you know, gym leaders. That was over half there, nice. 
All right, so we just killed a bunch of Pikachus. Now we kill their father. And just ruining whole families out here. Okay, so we gotta step on you. Looks like there's quite a few more trainers to go here. Now this allows us to go over here. Nice. And then we'll go down here. And they have ace trainers here. This is a nice variety of trainers, I guess. What do you have for me, ace trainer? Something weak to grass, preferably? Uh, that's not, not, not exactly what I was hoping for. Get freaking Kadabra. Oh, look, wishing to be praised. God damn it, Luxray. That is not praise worthy. All right. Ruin all of the gears in this place by going for the earthquake, and he did. Great. Phenomenal. So now we go up here. And, wow, this is actually quite the complex puzzle. We can see the gym leader there, so we're almost, we're almost there. Um... But I still, I do need to battle everybody I can. I think it, most of them are actually required. These guys always have Luxios. It's a pretty punk rock Pokemon though, I, 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 I dig it. He did. Just bit the rose. All right, handled. All right, now that, and then we hit it again. Allows us to go under the electric, the electricity is there for absolutely pretty much no reason at all. It doesn't. If it don't feel like that adds anything to it, <laughs> it but looks cool. One last ace trainer, and I think it's pretty much gym time. But going still faster. All right. So yeah, now this allows us to basically go all the way. I'm gonna head out of here though and grind up the team just a few levels so that I don't get destroyed. Because it's better to be prepared. Wait, failure to prepare is. Prepare, prepare, preparing to fail or something. Gotta go press the red one. Okay, yeah, so hitting that allows us to still go over here and then it should just lead us right to the gym leader, I think. I'm kind of nervous for this, I don't know why. What's up, my dude? We look pretty similar, not gonna lie. I definitely have the better fit, but what is up? So, yeah, we're gonna lead Golem. And I guess just, just see how it goes. All right, challenger. It's not often a trainer manages to make it all the way here to challenge me. And when they do, they've been boring. All been boring battles. Didn't break a sweat beating him. Look at his little sad face. I've welcomed the gym leader. They say I'm the top gym leader in Sinnoh. But anyway, I guess we better get this done. But be the trainer who'll make me remember how fun it is to battle. Sometimes you just gotta beat his ass, and then he'll be like, "That was fun. I want to battle more." Um, so now he is older. And he has four Pokemon. So, leads off with the Raichu. Does in fact have the electric type in the electric gym, who would have imagined? Chan, four thanks for the resub, buddy. Four out, four out, four out. <laughs> 40 months, that's crazy. All right, Raichu. Guess what, pal? I could actually consider setting up Stealth Rack here. I don't think this thing has like Grass Knot, but I don't know. Should I set up, should I go for Stealth Rock? I'm gonna go over Earthquake. Yeah, I'm worried. It does have Surf! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I'm glad I didn't Stealth Rock. Surfing Raichu is interesting there. So I use up my sturdy first turn, and it has the freaking Ground Berry. What the hell? But it still dies. <laughs> so, I mean, that was. The Chuck -a, Chuck a Berry really was useful there, buddy. Pretty interesting Raichu you got there. Okay, so worst part is now I need to hard switch into something. That was gets to 48 there, nice. Um, and it's freaking Octillery. What kind of electric gym has an Octillery? About a guy about to hit me with the Glocktillery, but I have Lucky Charms. So I'm just gonna switch directly into this thing. Octillery is a Pokemon that has so much coverage. This thing can learn everything, but I don't think it has anything for a Luxray, so. Bring out Deluxe Ray here, get the Intimidate, which shouldn't matter. I'm sure you're just special attacking. Um, and it's going to Octazooka. Oh my... God, that did a lot. Well. Well, well. Um, you know, what is my physical to special attack? On freaking Lucky Charms here. That actually did a lot of damage. What kind of Octillery is that? Uh, 112 and 137 physical attack. I'm just gonna click Thunderbolt and crit it and kill it. Actually, wait, yeah, Spark would be better because 
Well, Spark 60, whereas Thunderbolt, whatever. He, both, both of it would have killed, so that's fine. Down goes Octillery. All right. Yeah, Spark is better, yeah, because my physical attack's a little bit higher, but it's just lower. It's kind of confusing. Anyway, here's Ambipom. Again, interesting electric type you've got here, pal. I don't know what this thing's going to do. I kind of wish that Reese's Puff was all right here. Um, I might just switch. Actually, I'm going to switch into Cheerio here. It's going to go for like a fake out or like a double hit or something, and then it's going to get poison pointed. So... It does fake out, nice. Poison point, activate, wow. Okay, it didn't. And I am in danger, so maybe I instead switch into Wheaties here? Luxray would like to come in and intimidate it, but I'm like damn near at half health. God, so much damage from this guy. I'm going into this, yeah, the technician fake out hurts. Uh, but Champ, with his back six pack, should be good. Thunderbolt? I mean, you know, I guess. It is the electric gym, but what the hell? <laughs> what was that? I'm gonna click revenge here because it's clearly gonna attack. Uh, it does go for the double hit. That's gonna do a lot. The champ says that's fine. All right. That actually didn't do as much as I had imagined. Does have the fighting berry too. This guy is a pretty good farmer. Prepared with the berries, but it doesn't matter because revenge just kills you. Your trampled berry, waste it. Get hexed. All right. Um, what is? What else do you got for me, guy? Uh-oh. He looks intense. Hopefully he's having enough... Hopefully he's having fun. Here's the Luxray. Ooh, six stickers, too. So, Luxray comes in, intimidates me, and... It's a little frightening. So, level 49 Luxray. I can't... I probably should not... Can't really take an attack here. Uh, what is this thing gonna do, is the question. I imagine it'll just go for an electric attack. Maybe I bring in my Luxray and intimidate it. I hope it goes for an electric attack here. I don't really have an easy switch into a level 49 Luxray. That's that's what kind of sucks. Now, I wish that Reese's Puff I didn't use, but I mean, what else? Is, whatever. Um, I'm going to go into my own Luxray here and see what happens after an intimidate. I am Luxray too. Iron Tails. Perfect. Oh, God. Never mind. Critical hit. Damn it, man. I, like, could maybe take an attack, but all I have to do is bite it in return. We got a minus one on it, and I don't know if this thing's gonna opt to go for another Iron Tail. <laughs> um, I could bring in Cheerio. Like, what is it gonna do to a Luxray, also? I could bring in Infernape, but that just seems kind of scary. It might be able to do over half. Do you think a close combat Oko's it? I'm 40, 48. Um, what do? Should I bring in Cheerio here? I think I'm going to bring in Cheerio one time just to scout out what this thing's going to do. I don't know. What it, uh. Oh, no, it crunched. Oh, God. We live in. Poison point? Damn it. Wow, that crunch actually didn't do very much at all. Now I could stay in here and go for a Giga Drain, get some health back, but what does this Luxray have for this thing? I should have gone into Infernape, that was a dumb idea. Um, what is this thing gonna click? I'm two levels lower. This is definitely frightening. I don't wanna risk losing Roserade here. <laughs> oh God, I should have gone to the, in on the crunch. Um, so we have the Intimidate. I could go for the Leech Seed, or just go for the Giga Drain. I'm gonna go for a Giga Drain here. Oh, it's faster, and it Ice Fangs! No, no. No, it did have Ice Fang for me. I did not expect Ice Fang. How the hell did you get Ice Fang on that Luxray? God damn it, man. What the hell? That's wildly upsetting. Uh, Cheerio goes down. I didn't think it could get Ice Fang because my freaking Luxray is the same level and I never learned Ice Fang. This guy freaking breeding his Luxrays? Man. I do like that they're actually putting cool moves cool moves on stuff, but okay. I certainly did not expect I could have gone into Infernape at any time on the Crunch, on the Ice Fang. I'm an idiot. I really did not expect that. 
Um, I mean, we just click flamethrower here. Where do I get? Where do I get the Ice Fang TM? What the hell? Oh, jeez. So it's gonna be able to get off like a thunderbolt on me or something. I mean, I take one for sure. This is the Thunder Fang. Yeah, physical since the intimidate. All right. Well, man, did ten out of ten not expect Ice Fang from that thing? I honestly thought I was gonna be able to outspeed and Giga Drain it. <laughs> I guess it's two levels really helped it out there. Well, now we just punch the hell out of you. Well, I did it, but at what cost? At what cost? That's exactly why I didn't teach my Roserade Sludge Bomb, because I would have done that, and then... Now he's dead. I can't get it anymore. So... Last two gyms, I've lost one Pokemon. <laughs> It's not good. It's not good at all. Hits us with a hee 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 and a ha ha ha. That was the most fun I've had in a battle since I don't know when. Also made me excited to know you uh, you and your team will keep battling into greater heights. This is your eighth gym badge. You've earned this. Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. The full bed, the full badge case. Very satisfying. I feel like it, I wish I wish it should have showed could have showed us that for longer to really soak it in, but okay. Beacon Badge lets you use the Hidden Move Waterfall for your Pokecatch. Waterfall happens to be key if you get out of the Pokemon League. Also, because you collected all eight badges, any Pokemon at any level will now obey you. Without fail, I want you to take these two. You obtain stickers that Valkna uses. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, we get TM 57s. I'm pretty butthurt that I killed my freaking flower. <sighs> but, what are you gonna do? You know? What are you gonna do? So, hopefully. Flint is happy with what I've done to reignite his passion for battling, but uh, I'm still upset. I'm upset. Let's first things first. We gotta bury the flower. Damn it! Nobody told me that Ice Fang was coming. You hackers, Rose Rage. Probably one of the best. Probably the, definitely the best mom that I've lost so far. Uh, so that sucks. So we're gonna take our L and just keep on trucking, cause that's what you gotta do. <laughs> Things aren't looking good for the Pokemon League with my team, but I have confidence that we'll be okay. So we can continue north now. Thank you for not blocking me. The city makes me feel at home somehow. It's because there's a lighthouse. What do you mean? It's next to the sea and there's a lighthouse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the city's gym badge. You must be very good. Uh, please take these too. We get TM99s. Thanks, Jasmine. Waterfall and the Hidden Moves app allows you to climb up waterfalls and... Uh, my freaking... My Gyarados has been... Been had waterfall. Um, is this the new route? Is this technically... This is a route, right? I didn't see the sign, though. Hold up. Well, I mean, yeah, we can get a Sunny Shore Shitty... In <laughs> sunny Shore Shitty Encounter. Sunny Shore City Encounter. <laughs> and then there's another route just right there. Come on. Ooh, a Tentacool. Okay. I love Tentacool. Not the ground weakness, that's nice. Um, you know, netball that bitch. Alright. We caught him in a net. With 80 tentacles for ensnaring victims, it prevents escape until the prey is weakened by poison. 80 tentacles, you say? I'm counting not 80. But, alright. What am I naming this thing? Alright. For absolutely no reason at all, he is Honeycomb. So that's cool. And what's cool is that now we're on Route 223, and we also get an encounter here. Except, I don't think there's anything different here. Maybe there is. Yep, <laughs> Pelipper. Okay. Well, that's nice. I'll catch you. We did catch it with the first Quick Ball, if you were wondering. It's a nice looking bowl. All right, so now we got some nice swimmers before we get to our destination. Determined to go to the Pokemon League, no matter how hard it is. Just realized Pelipper's supposed to look like a boat. Realization just hit me. It's supposed to look like a boat? I guess, yeah. True. Excuse me, I do need to grind up my hecking team quite a bit. More swimmers. Azrael. Really? You mean to tell me? I just beat the last gym leader in this whole damn place, and now I gotta battle a baby Azrael. He wasn't even, he's not even water type. He do be hopping on the water though. 
Why, why was I multitasking too much? Battling and swimming at the same time? You weren't even swimming. You were just, I saw you standing there on top of the water. Are you crazy? Tentacruel do got that special defense, though. You know what, creature? All right, buddy, I'll put you in. Pretty underleveled now. Yeah, I know. Quite underleveled. And also, freaking Gen Gengar doesn't have any more Thunderbolts. That would be great for this here Garrett dose. But I ain't got it. League level range is 50 to 66, I think. So I still don't know what level I need to cap for, but we'll play by ear. Lowest is 50, so. That Garchomp do be pretty spooky. Highest levels for each trainer, 57, 59, 61, 63, and 66. Thank you, Michelle. We have found the waterfall. Very nice. The barrel is the same guy He's gonna help us out. We're making him swim, making him swim up stuff. And here we have it. We got a nice little Pokemon Center here. We'll catch a heal. That was a long route. Good God. Pokemon League is a pretty small little plot of land here before we get into Victory Road. Um, let's get in here and let's actually catch our first encounter here. I, now, I don't think that there's anything other than duplicates in here. So we're just here to see how we're going to play it. Yeah, I'm pretty much just going to catch the very first thing we find. And it's going to be a dupe, but we'll hope that it might be something nice. I don't know. First thing we find on the bridge is a Machoke. So, we're gonna. This is our encounter, and unless this thing's like adamant or something, we're probably gonna just use this guy. I mean, if it's adamant, we'll use it. But if it's not, we'll just use our other Machamp. Chocula, yeah. See summary. Quirky. Okay. You're not probably not coming. So check this out. I grinded up the team a little bit that we're going to be using for the Elite Four. This is the dream team, boys. Everybody to, you know, 52, 53, except for Crave. I got lazy there and got him to 50. I did get a Lucky Egg, though. So I grinded these bad boys up. And what I'm thinking is... Here's what I'm thinking. We're going to go through Victory Road. And the play should probably be to not lose any of these guys along the way. If, if any of these things die in Victory Road, I'll be big sad. So, uh, what I'm going to do here is actually just kind of bring bring the B squad, I think. Just because if they die, it's not too big of a deal. Um, I don't know. So, th so that's the current plan. This is the team that we're going to be taking through Victory Road. Because these are all the ones that are leveled up, but not you know, at the level that these guys are. So this right here is the good team. If anything dies over here, we'll still be sad, but at least we'll still have our Elite Four team intact. Grinded a little bit in here, but other than that, I haven't done much. It's unfortunate, actually, the Pokemon don't follow you in the caves. How stupid is that? What? What's the deal with that? Uh, so we can actually grab that item over there, but we got to battle for it, so we might as well do it, you know, because Rock Climb's freaking built in. So let's get it. Hello? No, he's a psychic guy. Oh, God. Be warned, mortal. I can see the future. <laughs> this guy just called me a mortal? Guess what I have? It's your father. Or sister. Or mother. One of, one of those. Just size you up. Me? You will not be dying on my watch. Also, I always forget that I only have bite on this thing. I probably should have just used spark, but he kills it anyway. That's fine. In before Blueberry dies? No. TM41 for Torment. Okay, so I might run out of repels here, but that's fine. Um, heading this way, we have our first ace trainer. There's, I think there's quite a few ace trainers up in here, but I think we're okay, right? I don't know what levels they got though. Show me how you've battled to get here. Let's do this. Sounds good. Let's let's do this. Rai's got two Pokemon. Okay, ace trainer with a gold duck. Love to see it. She got a duck, yeah. And now he's dead, yeah. Shiny gold duck should be gold. Agreed. Shiny Psyduck looks super fucking cool with its minty blue. And then gold duck, just his hands turn red or some little tiny baby difference. It's just not fair. When the Pokemon go, I gotta leave my Psyduck as a Psyduck. I don't wanna evolve it because it's shiny. Oh, we're aware of the SpongeBob reference. Got a Max Elixir on this rock. Those are going to come in handy. I think I'm pretty set on those. That's good. 
Did you just super effective kill a Blissey in less than 30 minutes? Wow, what a, what a quality of life update, huh? Okay, I got to push these boys. I go down, and then go left. Yes, quite the puzzle there. I will not be fooled. Uh, I think there is just an item over this way. I'm not, wait. Oh, we got some more freaking bicycle jumps. I think if I push that there, it'll allow me to get enough speed to hop. Hippity hop, hippity hop on down, and then rock smash that. Who puts boulders right in front of the freaking sweet jumps? Oh, God damn it! I did it too much. All right, this better be a good item. It's a max ether. Okay, they're hooking up, hooking you up with lots of ethers, which is nice. I appreciate that. Yeet. And back to the business at hand. Uh, I think we go down and right. Oh, am I gonna have to battle this? I do have to battle this freaking ace trainer. Man, Carnivine too? These ace trainers have exquisite taste today, boys. Except, you know, they die easily. I love Carnivine though. They really do some like crazy ass jets around here though. I live right by the Air Force Base. And that's why. That's what happens. Um. Now we go like this, and then like this, and then I fucked up. Bam, 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 bam. We go down on that one, and then we go and put, and then we break this. Yeah, that's that's some quality engineering right there. And another ace trainer. All ace trainers are freaking everywhere. Mm -mm. This Total Strange will be a good way to see if I have what it takes to own the Pokemon League's Elite Four. I, I doubt it. I am exactly like you though, although I beat the story quickly, I take my time exploring the extra things. I don't really explore that much. The thing about it is for me is that, Jesus, fuck. Um, it should still just die. Oh, maybe not to a rock team. Fuck it, I'm clicking it. Here we go, boys. Okay. This is bad. I, I really wish you didn't crit me. Oh my god, Meteor Mash and I avoided it. <laughs> Sam says, excuse me? Hello? Torterra? Dang, this lady got the fully evolved starter out here. Revenge on this thing, maybe? I... Just gonna low kick. I'm, in a pretty, I'm in a pretty bad spot here, I'm not gonna lie. Um... Oh, thank god, it just dies. Whew. Uh, which we got a veteran right here, it looks like. Sub G. I think over there to the right, there really isn't anything, so... Let me take a measure of how much you've raised your Pokémon. This guy's gonna measure me. Nice. Clayton's got two Pokémon. What do you got for me, Vet? This guy's a veterinarian. Victory to he had in Victory Road. There's a good TM over there. What is the TM? I guess I'll grab it, but... Powed on here. Wednesday there. Motherfucker live in the future. You know, I think I am actually gonna go down this way. Just because I don't wanna mi I don't wanna miss out on anything important. I don't think it's gonna be I don't think it's gonna be anything that we'll really need, but one, two, three, and four. <laughs> and it is a full restore. Okay. Oh man, am I gonna have to like Shift gears mid jumps. Oh, wait, I was in the wrong gear. I think. Yep, I'm so nice with it. It is the TM71 for Stone Edge. That's pretty nice. I enjoy that. All I really have been caring about is what my team is gonna be for the Elite Four. I'll enjoy. I enjoy you. <gasps> Me? Okay, we got a big old bridge, and we gotta just ride on this the barrel's face to get down this thing. Sorry about that guy. I I, I like to think he enjoys it though. <laughs> um, and then we can head north. So, running out of max repels, but that's all right. We got a karate dude here. We'll probably find a just lead Gengar and just do some some sweet sweet psychic actions. And that just that right there is a critical hit. Nice little critical hit to kill the champ. Go down the old magic staircase. And what's up with this one piece of dirt in particular? Well, now we gotta do some surfing. They make you bust out all the HM action in here. It's 
place was a real pain in the ass when you had to actually have the HMs on your Pokemon. What's up? The hell? Why just a Chingling? Um, so let's see here. What way go? I'm gonna go... Hmm, we got this Ace Trainer over this way. You know what? I'll battle you. Just jogging, huh? Just having a nice jog in the cave. Victory Road, somehow it feels as if my journey is now coming to an end. But before the final chapter is written, I must pen your defeat. We got a Haunch Crow here. Um, this could be dangerous, but I believe in the power of Gengar. Okay, so it didn't Sucker Punch, and it just dies. <laughs> that battle was for no reason. And guess what? We're just going to make the barrel still do it. The barrel really is the MVP in the Pokemon world. That's my purse. I don't know you. Okay, we'll go up here. And, alright, another tamer we see there. Another vet guy. Oh, man. I have sick animal. Please help me, veterinarian. I think I should probably heal. These vet guys are actually... Damn, veterans do definitely put in work. As a dead rock. Um, let's try going left over here, maybe? I feel like we're kind of close to the exit at this point. There's a razor claw. Okay. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Let me size you up. You're gonna become even tougher. You'll meet many, many Pokemon. That's why you should be thinking. That's what you should be thinking. Eventually, your world will grow even larger. What's he blocking? What Hayden doesn't know is I'm watching him stream from his desk right now. <laughs> Hello? All right. So we go this way. This is Dewey. And so I can either rock, climb up here and battle that dragon fella, which I probably should do. I guess. Fuck it, we're gonna do it. You have another guy bite? These dragon tamers are all just wannabe lances, you know? I just love Gibble. He's so cute and round and plump. Just a chill guy. Ooh, Gyarados. Good thing I got Thunderbolts on my gar. Two Gibbles and a Gyarados, though. He got some work to do to get up to that. Get up to Lance's level, good friend. Why don't know these tamers have Rayquaza? That's a great question. Okay, now I don't think that this is... Wait, hold on. We've done it. All right. Well, that wasn't half bad. So Pokemon League's got a big old waterfall. They're like, unless you have the ability to summon a random Bibarel to launch yourself up this thing, you cannot come play with us. But luckily we do. The barrel's on our side. You know what would be cool? If it was like a one in like crazy odds chance to get the the barrel that comes and helps you is shiny. That would be sick. And here it is, ladies and gents. Here it is. So this is my castle. I will own this castle here momentarily. It's a pretty cool uh, stained glass design they got going there. Kind of. Um, so there is a rival battle in here, and I think it triggers as soon as you walk, like, toward the the door to get into the Pokemon League. So we're just going to we're gonna do that real quick. Because why not? And we're just going to take a nice little stroll over this way. Oh, would you look at what I've triggered. Hold on. Don't go off without me. See, it would be really bad if I got to level cap on my team and then forgot about this battle and then ruined the level cap. So I'm glad we're doing this now. Barry, this is his strongest form. He has six Pokemon here. Leads with the Staraptor. Um, this is... This seems a little bit unsafe. I do have my B team currently with me. Uh, so... Let's see how this goes. Intimidate Staraptor, that's fine. I'm just gonna Thunderbolt. So... Just intimidate each other. And, uh... 49 Staraptor. Staraptor, we're not too bad. Does just go for the close combat, and okay, doesn't do much. Perfect, but it sucks to kind of take that damage. Also, it's very orange in here. Who spilled the orange juice in here? Hello? Landed a critical hit, wishing to be praised. Man! Oh, it has a focus sash. Excuse me? Damn. Okay, Barry is actually not playing games here. He runs with, he rolls with the sash. Shit. Okay, so we have to take another close combat. That's actually quite annoying. It's now Luxray's below half here. Um, Mom, I'm scared. Pick me up. <laughs> I'm gonna kill it with the Volt Switch because now uh, I can bring in a fresh Mon for this next for this next Pokemon. What is it? What the hell does he have next? 
Is he going straight into his starter? What's he gonna have? I don't think, I think he saves the starter. I think, damn it, why don't I remember? Hmm. Um. So unfortunately, we don't see what he goes into. So Frosted Flake was not supposed to be on this team, but that's fine. What does he go into here? Uh, I'm going into Wheaties. He's already lost his flank. Is it Roserade? What is he? Snorlax. Perfect. <laughs> the Volt Switch worked out for me. Nice. Uh, so his Munchlax has evolved. Wow, that could not have been more perfect. So now we just go for a nice little low kick. And that kills that thing right away. Easy. Easy money. Very good. Very good. All right, Barry, what else you got for me? He has one new Pokemon we haven't seen before. Uh, trying to learn Destiny Bond? He thinks, but no thanks. There's the Roserade. Okay. So. I should probably switch into Frosted Flake here. I think. Unless he does annoying Sleep Powder stuff. I really hope not. I think we're alright. We got this. We got this, boys. Stun Spore. And we avoid it. <laughs> oh my god. In time, because of my shout. Bro. It's so annoying that it does that. What happened? Kitter did a fucking hairball? Yeah. Oh my god, Kitter throws up all the time. That girl will be getting hairballs left and right out here. But what I was saying was, what... When, at what point does it fucking Crobat learn Air Slash? I feel like I should have that by now, right? Grassy terrain? What are you doing, lad? Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I probably should have taught this thing fly, to be honest. Yeah, that doesn't even kill it. Shit. I mean, luckily, Roserade literally cannot touch Crobat with either of its stabs, so we kind of have a good, like, a solid matchup here, so. I think we're alright. Yeah, by the time we are ready to fight the league, we should have Air Slash. At least I'm hoping so. Because there's a couple things I need this Crobat to do for me. That has Shadow Ball? Damn. This guy's just busting out random coverage moves that'll just catch you off guard. Interesting. Alright, well that's three down. Roserade dead. Sayonara. My Roserade is dead as well. I feel you on that. Next goes into the Heracross. Um, this thing definitely has Rock Slide or something, doesn't it? Heracross is a little bit of a threat here. Um, hello? You're in charge of dinner tonight. I'm in charge of dinner tonight? Yeah. I did it last but, night. What? I got my leopard pants on. She's ready to go. She's ready to go do some <laughs> sweet, sweet squats. We have yeah, Taco Bell Saturday, so we really should not. Oh, but we want Taco Bell all the time. What do I switch into? Aww. Okay, bye. Okay, love you. I think that I can go into Gengar here pretty yes. safely. This thing will probably rock slide and miss because the Boo Bear's gonna jump out of the way via my shout or some nonsense. <gasps> it swords dances. Oh god. <laughs> well, at least it can't use its strongest move against me here, which is probably uh, close combat. It probably has Megahorn, Rock Slide, I think. Other than that, I don't know. I'm clicking Psychic here, hoping for the best. Does this just kill it? Nope. Oh god. It does rock slide after a swords dance. It's not gonna kill Blueberry because we are the goat. And we disable that too. We say, not only did that not kill me, but you can't even use that again if you wanted to. You absolute buffoon. Okay, so one more psyche takes it out here. No priority for you. And that could that thing right there could be an issue. This berry right here, this berry fight is the Nuzlocke killer. You, you get your team ready for the Elite Four, and then all of a sudden, boom. Big rival fight. Luckily, I'm using only one of my Pokemon on this te current team is going to come with me to the League, but still scary. Grass disappears, that's fine. Since I'm not Levitate, I actually get the benefit from that. Here's the Empoleon. So, level 55 Empoleon. Um, a problem I have with that is Lucky Charms is hurt, but I do have Wheaties still. Now... Is Wheaties going to be able to take two attacks from this thing? i got to switch it into something, so I guess I'll try. Here we go, buddy. 
Brine. Nice. Oh my god. The biggest fights, this happens the most. I'm... Not that that really would have mattered, but... <gasps> Quick Claw. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Quick Claw Charm? That's a pretty good play there, Barry. That's a pretty good play. I see you, man. Drop my attack harshly. Still gonna be a two-hit KO. I knew you could do it, mate! <laughs> now, uh... Now land your critical hit for no reason. Yeah, alright. Thank you for not critting me on that. Kick it right to the chin. And that's a dead Empoleon. God, Empoleon is such a great design. We, I love Empoleon so much. Okay, so down goes that thing. What else do you got for me, buddy? Oh, it's getting serious now. Fully believe in this last one. I have no reason to freak out. It's the Rapidash. Okay, level 49 Rapidash. Um, could potentially kill me here, but... Uh, hmm, I'm actually kind of running... Kind of running out of options here. I could switch into Dynabits, but you know what? I'm going to stay in one time, take an attack. I think that it doesn't have anything super effective. We should be able to take one. I mean, I'm 56 to 49. We're going to click Revenge here and see what this thing does. Flame Wheel, okay. Yep, we easily live in that. And you're going to wish you didn't do that, buddy. I said, hey, that, that hurt. All right. Um, we can take even one more. You know what? I'm rolling the dice. Weedies is fine here. Goes for the flame wheel. We live in. Oh yeah, Weedies. In a bit of a pinch, he might cry. <laughs> Don't be crying, crying, Machamp. Come on now. Oh my God, we did land the critical hit, which can be praised. Jesus. I need to feed all of my Pokemon a ton of those bitter herbs so they don't do that in the Elite Four. But there's no promises. And that's how you do it. Flawless berry fight. Very good. Very good. I guess I'm not ready for the Pokemon League if I'm losing to you. Darn it. You lost to me every time. Just you wait. I'll get tougher and win my way through the Pokemon League because I'm going to become the toughest Pokemon trainer there is. The champion. You better not lose to anyone before me. See ya. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that now just leaves us to battle the Pokemon League. I'm going to be doing some grinding on the team to make sure that everybody is in fighting shape. Um, so next time, we're going to conclude this Nuzlocke. It's, we've, we've come a long way and... It pretty much all comes down to this, so... Thank you guys very much for watching. I do appreciate all the support throughout the series. Uh, everybody, you know, leaving comments and supporting the videos. Yeah, I thank you. Anyways, see you guys next time.